Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Adrian, single father to 13-year-old twins, John and Ella. Hi. Our journey began in Thailand, where I used to work as an underwater cameraman, and that's where I met their mom. Tragically, we lost her during the birth in Bangkok. I later moved back to the UK to be closer to family. Now, nine years later, I'm home educating the kids and planning exciting adventures. I've always known the transformative power of travel, and I want my children to experience it while they're still young enough to want to go with their old dad. We converted my trusty work van into a cozy camper van to embark on incredible journeys. Our future plan is to upgrade to a bigger van and make a more permanent home in Europe. Join us on our journey as we explore the world, learn and grow together. Hi folks, welcome back. Okay, so today is the first of what I hope becomes a bit of a series of camper van tours. We're very lucky that an old friend of mine through in our neighboring town of North Allerton has got in touch with a friend of his who's done a conversion on a Mercedes Sprinter and he's welcomed us to come and have a look. So we're gonna drive over there today and uh, see what we think to that and we'll show you guys uh, how it all goes. I have got a number of other people that have offered up their vans as well for a little tour for the YouTube videos. And if you know anyone out there who's not too far away from our local area in North Yorkshire, who has a van that was a self-built, doesn't have to be a self-built, but preferred. Um, we would love to come and take a look. If they don't mind it being filmed, that would be fantastic because I think we can learn a lot from this. So yeah, drop that in the comments below if you know anyone. Um, but otherwise, let's go to North Allerton. <laughs> It's, uh, it's tucked away inside this uh, old shed here. This guy does metal fabrication. Um, he's got a small Volkswagen over there as well, which they use. It's a beautiful little young one, young van. And over here, tucked away in the garage, he hasn't used it for years, bless him, but he did it. He said he did it in a real hurry. He just bashed it together. So I haven't seen it yet. The kids have had a quick look. Let's go and have a nosy. Okay, scratch that. Before we go and have a look around the van, I just wanted to show you these photos that he sent me after we'd filmed. Now, he's far too modest. He clearly did not just throw this together. This is a really nice professional job he did at this. And it was 10 years ago, you got to understand, way before the van life thing was a, a massive fad that it is today. So uh, we have a lot more uh, fittings that you can buy from Amazon and eBay and things like that these days that you couldn't get back then and he's done an absolutely outstanding job and this van has had a really good run. Looking at these photos, they clearly had a fantastic time with this van. It had a real good run in its heyday. Now it's sadly been stuck in this uh, shed for about four years, but let's go and take a look. It's a little bit dark, but bear with us. So it is an old, old Sprinter, look at this. Let's have a look through there. So he's got a bed going across crossways and then garage space underneath and all his stuff in there let me see if i can jump up on here <laughs> he says he just uses it for storing junk in bless him because he hasn't used it in years what do you say al you'll be all right go on he said go in no problem now it's very dark because we're in this garage. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to see that well in here. Just been back to the van and grabbed my uh, work torch. So this should help us out a bit. Oh! <laughs> you don't look very awake. Are you okay today? <laughs> All right. So here we go. Now, these chairs do swivel like we would like to do, but it's so full of junk in here that we're not gonna be able to uh, do that right now. And he's got a nice little surfboard table there. I like that. And these little cozy seats. Hi, Al. Hi. How's the L? What do you think? I think it's cool. But can you see the size of this? This is what I'm mostly thinking about for you to understand. The size here is more the sort of size van we would have. It's very big. Thin, but then again, well, yeah, but it has to be. But the most important thing is, El, we can stand up in here, yeah? And then you've got the beds at the back. Mm. And something else standing out the back there. 
So I'm thinking our bed cell, yeah. I'm thinking about having, instead of a bed across like this, yeah. I'm thinking about having a bed for maybe John there going this way and a bed above it for you going this way as well. And you can have a curtain across, yeah? Then on this side, a single bed for me there. I guess this, like, this whole space will have to be somewhere else then. Well, no, it would only be this. We'd only have to move this much to, get, to get the length small. of a bed. It'd only be that much, really. It's really small. And then, I'll tell you what, John, can you hold that torch up for me? It's really big. I mean, you're like really big, though. From what you're saying, the bed seems really small. At least, like, right now, I don't know. No, we would make it the si a proper size of a single bed for you. Ah, uh, okay. For, I mean, for like you, I'm, I don't have to worry. Oh, I see. No, it'd be, it'd be fine. So that's kind of where our seats would be, like, like John is there, but it'd be on this, on the other side of the van, yeah? And it'd be facing forward. That'd be where, like, if you were sitting in the back L, yeah? yeah. It'd be like that where John is, except to be on this side. Yeah. Like how small. much more space there is in here, yeah? True. So you think you could... Handle living in something this size. Yeah. We already handle living in our van. Yeah, that's true. You have handled living in our van, so this is far bigger, isn't it? Yes. Uh -huh. This is my t-shirt. It's well used, isn't it? What's that? Life's a beach. Life's a beach. Okay, now this is the bathroom L, the shower room. Oh, he says he's just put this hook up on there because <laughs> he never managed to get it finished properly. Let's have a look. Can you need to hold the torch and show us in there, L? Okay. So again, he's got junk up kettles and stuff, but he's actually got a proper little shower in here. And there's a toilet down in there. Fantastic. So much space. Now, you see, I still, I'm undecided whether or not we have a shower in or not, Elle. What do you think? Do you uh, think you'd like a shower in the van? Well, I mean, I'm not sure, actually. You see, because obviously it takes up a lot of space having a shower, but it's also, oh, it'd be such a lovely thing to have. It really would. Even if you, it's only once a week that you use it sort of thing. What's this sink looking like here? Let's have a look at that. Can you lift those up for me? Actually, this is the sink. That's the sink. And then lift the other one up. Is that the cooker? That's the kettle thing, yeah. The kettle thing. <laughs> the kettle thing. <laughs> so that's the, uh, the gas burner, the cooker, yeah? Oh, and he's got, he's got a little microwave down there as well. And there's the fridge. It's a good size. I like it. Can I like it. I like it. <laughs> so there we go. It's a little bit tucked away in here, um, but it's great. It's so nice to be able to see one in the flesh rather than looking at these fancy ones in the dealerships that we can never afford. It's really nice to see a custom build like this. Now he's put all these windows in himself. So that's something I would consider as well is going for these smaller windows because on the uh, Vivara obviously those big windows take up an entire like half panel of a door. Now what I was also interested in is the rust aspect on these. See it's not bad considering how old it is that's the sort of thing you don't get on the galvanized bodies but that's that's minimal considering this thing's a very old van it's really not bad at all. All right, sweetheart. Oh, look, he's got a step under there, El. There's one of those steps. I don't think it's an electric one, though. See, that's not, there's nothing there. Right there, tiny, tiny little rust bubble. Now, I was expecting a lot more of such an old, old van. How old is it? Let's have a look. Ah. <sighs> I can't see the plate. We'll have to look at the. <laughs> we'll have to look at the back of the plate. Look how old this thing is. Look at it. Oh, such a shame. It's just living in here. This window. Oh, they've got an awning up there as well. It's something I'd like to add. But yeah. This gives a real nice idea and feeling of space, what it would like to be like to be in one of these. Like I say, the ones, the ones that we've seen in the uh, dealerships, they just don't feel the same as this at all, space-wise. 
I don't know what it is. The custom build is just so much nicer. So it's five years older than our van. Bell. <laughs> I, didn't, I don't know how old that van is. Like, right, this is a this is a 2003, so it's actually uh, seven years older than you. Oh no, hang on, no, I'm getting confused now. Yes, it is. No, it's seven years older than you. So we're we'll getting there. Nineteen. I had to work it out then as well. Oh, there's even some solar panels up on top of there. great um, there's not much more to see here obviously but uh, that's really great that's uh, helped me loads looking at the layout of that it feels nice in there compared to our little van with bait bless it there it is it's uh, yeah that just feels so much nicer to be in so yeah anyway that's it for this one. It's a short video, just a little van tour, but we're gonna be doing a lot more of these. Um, I've got two more lined up, I think. And if anyone knows any, please let us know. Down in the comments, what are we gonna say, kids? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Subscribe. <laughs>Yes, folks next week we're going to be visiting another old friend of mine who's got a much more modern mercedes sprinter that she converted herself so we look forward to that see you then